Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Mount Nemrut of Western Armenia hosted the first tourist. No violation were recorded in the area of responsibility of peacekeepers in Artsakh. New facts of Azerbaijan vandalism. Sites of Western Armenia Ardahan Fortress. Famous son of Western Armenia Anna Kazanchian. The website of Armenian National Institute includes 327 genocide of Armenian memorials in 45 countries of the world. There is a fragment of the Armenian Gospel in Vatican Museum. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. The road to Mount Nemrut in Western Armenia, included in the UNESCO World Culture Heritage List, was cleared of snow, after which the first tourists began to visit this historic mountain. Last week, Resika, struggling with snow six meters high, opened a five-kilometer road to open the road to the top of Mount Nemrut, which is located at an altitude of 2,206 meters. It should be noted that tourist season of Mount Nemrut is closed annually for five months due to the cold weather and snowfall. After Azerbaijan occupied three-fourths part of the territory of Artsakh, the Russian peacekeeping contingent continued to carry out the tasks in Artsakh. This is reported by the Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation. 27 observation posts carried out round-the-clock monitoring of the situation and monitoring compliance with the ceasefire regime. It is noted that no violation have been recorded in the area of responsibility of the peacekeeping contingent of the Russian Federation. Since November 23, 2020, in general 2,360 62 hectares of territory, 689.5 km of roads, 1,937 buildings have been cleaned of exploded mines and shelled by engineers of Russian peacekeeping contingent, 26,258 explosives have been founded and neutralized, the report says. The picture of the Azerbaijani user shows that in the village of Banans, the Armenian church of St. Astvazadzin, the altar of the church, the baptismal pool, and Khachkar of 1621 were destroyed. A sign in Azerbaijan fixed on the facade of the church says that a holy place has become a victim of Albanian politics. It should be noted that a movement specialist, Samvel Karapetian, in 1986 recorded on the walls of the church 153 units of cemetery of 16th and 17th century, rescued their construction, therefore the structure should be dated to the 17th and 18th century. It was also known that the church was renovated in 1981 thanks to the efforts of local Armenians and consequently this deplorable state could only be achieved as a result of vandalism. Ardahan Fortress is also called Kajat's Fortress. It is located on a high and unacceptable rock and has existed since ancient time. In the 9th century, it passed to Bagratuni. The latter were redone. The fortress were further strengthened. In the 11th century, the Ardahan Fortress was captured by Georgian troops. In 1236, the Mongols captured the fortress. In 1266, the fortress passed to the Georgian authorities. At the beginning of 15th century, the Ardahan Fortress was conquered by the Sultan of Ottoman Empire, Suleiman I. In 1555, it became the center of Ardavan province. On August 22, 1828, Russian troops captured the Ardahan fortress and it was destroyed. On September 2, 1829, according to Adranapol peace treaty, Ardahan fortress was again returned to Turkey. In the spring in 1990, Ardahan was liberated and passed to the Republic of Armenia on a territory of Western Armenia. In early November 1920, it was captured by Turkish troops led by Kazim Karabekir Pasha. The Kazanchan family, who survived the genocide of Armenian people, arrives from Western Armenia to the United States after the First World War, settles in New York. In 1928, their daughter Anna was born, who was given the honor to glorify her nation as a scientist of the field of American cosmology. Anna Kazanchan will be considered one of the first women in the state who worked on programs for the Navy. The talented Armenian woman also makes a great contribution to the development of navigation systems in the aviation sector. In 1950, in 1957, Anna Kazanjan developed special principles that follow a striking target of the distance of 10,000 miles. Her calculations are placed on a top-secret collection, which will be available only to the highest officials of the country. Two years later, NASA, finally able to use this calculation, is able to launch several satellites. The name of numerous Armenian women is included in a list of 10 most influential women in New York. She died in New York on December 7, 2020. 
The website of the Armenian National Institution presents 227 memorial complexes dedicated to the victims of genocide of Armenian people in 45 countries. The event of the 100th anniversary of the genocide of Armenians have become the occasion for many communities to install new monuments. The database previously included 200 memorials in 32 countries. The new figures present a 60% increase in the number of monuments in 13 more countries around the world. All this can be considered in detail with the more of 650 images added to the existing database. Many of the memorial complexes are monuments and hajkars, differing in traditional Armenian design and size. Sculptures were installed in other places, from conventional figurative images to completely abstract ones. In Yerevan, the Titzer Nagabert complex is the largest of its kind. In the Vatican Museum, there is an excerpt from the Armenian edition of Hagopos about the childhood of Virgin Mariam. New Testament texts are important early testimonies of the life of Jesus, his teachings, and the Virgin Mariam. Because of the high cost of parchment, they did not destroy the parchment, they erased, cleaned, and wrote a new text. So, 2,000 years of scrolls were found with the help of different rays. Dear compatriots, the state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in advertising. Our work is aimed at preserving and developing ties between our compatriots and the motherland. At this historic stage, we are all obliged to support our national demands in order to face together the challenges we face and achieve the establishment of our just right which unfortunately are ignored in modern international relations. Our struggle lasts a long time, but victory is unavoidable. Western Armenia hopes for the active support on this difficult path. Together we can do more. Now musical part, Armenian folk song, Sirak Torosyan, Erzrumi Shoror. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.